Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the first part of the review for the Ishin QX 90C tiny cut captor. This is a 90 mm mini quad or nano quad and it comes fully equipped for FPV. It has an all-in-one uh, FPV camera, it uh, comes with a battery and this one although it's a uh, binden flight comes with its own uh, uh, receiver you can uh, choose an option there is also an option without any kind of receiver so you can plug your own but this is the fly sky version so let's take a look into the box first thing to notice is that uh, this mini quad comes with a pretty good manual and it has a lot of useful information about how to bind it how to configure your transmitter uh, it shows cases for each kind of uh, transmitter and receiver. It also gives you some uh, tips about configuring uh, clean flight, which is uh, it's uh, running firmware on uh, the controller. The controller is based on the F3 controller, but only that this is uh, brushed. So in the box, you also get a set of uh, propellers with. Uh, small uh, key to take them off if you want to and to take this out of the box I'm gonna take the foam out and I'm going to split it this way so it's much easier to get the quad out and let's see what else we get so in the box you also get a set of motors it's a pair of motors and of course a USB charger for the battery Right, moving on to the quad, the camera, as you can see, it's already attached to the main board. It's soldered, but it's not fixed. You will fix it by your own means with the rubber bands. Uh, it just goes something like this and use the rubber band over this notch here and this notch here. And uh, that should do it. What I don't like at uh, this design is the, that the fact that uh, the circuit board of the camera will touch the circuit board on uh, the fl flight controller so I'm going to try to install something between them like a piece of foam or adhesive uh, pad or something like that to prevent them from touching each other I don't want to make a short circuit between uh, these boards so you need to provide your own way to insulate them and then you can fix it with the provided rubber bands the battery uh, comes uh, pre-installed. Uh, it's a nice thing that the C version uses a plastic frame and has a battery cage underneath so you don't have to rubber band the battery like on other models. It's a one cell battery, 600 milliamps, no discharge rate on it, no voltage protection, it's a standard LiPo and this is very easy to swap. You just put it underneath and you're ready to go. To bind the transmitter, uh, looking at the manual, there are two pins here, which I'm going to show you. These two tiny pins here, uh, let me try to point them. I'm going to use a screwdriver. These two here, two pins here, uh, you need to uh, short them out while connecting the LiPo battery. Uh, this will make a green LED flash. I'm going to show you. Let me prepare the plug so I'll be able to connect with one hand. Something like that. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so I'm shorting the two pins and I'm going to connect the battery and you can see the green light flashing rapidly that means it's searching for the transmitter now I'm going to power on the transmitter and I'm going to explain why I'm using two transmitters on the 9x transmitter you have to keep press the bind button while turning it on and it will search and is now binded and connected 
green light is not flashing anymore so if I turn on the transmitter and disconnect the power now if I connect power back and turn on the transmitter you can see green light is flashing if I turn off the transmitter green LED stops flashing so the transmitter is binded with the quadcopter now uh, why I'm having this uh, second transmitter here it's a very important uh, thing to be noted uh, this uh, tiny quadcopter only works on uh, AF HDS 1 version it does not support 2 version uh, there are a lot of uh, transmitters of this type it's the i6 transmitter this can be rebranded by a lot of uh, companies like Turning Hobby King, Idea Fly, and so on. They all rebrand uh, the transmitter and modify the firmware. This is modified by Idea Fly. It has uh, uh, 10 channels and it has three position switches here and here. So there are two three position switches. Well, this does not support. Uh, simple version of AF HDS it only has a 2A version and will not be into this uh, quadcopter uh, if it happens that you have an old Turni G9X this is the V2 version it's not modded it's the original V2 version uh, this will bind without problem and work out of the box without much programming so you are going to have a lot of luck if you still own uh, such transmitter. Last but uh, not least, uh, we also have FPV without any kind of problem. Just search for the channel and it works right off the box. The camera looks nice, it has good colors, good contrast, good dynamic range, so it should be nice to fly it FPV. Uh, there's no indication of the FOV angle, but uh, judging by its uh, deformation and whiteness, it looks somewhere like around 150 degrees wide. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, 160 degrees, so it's normal, it's good for flying FPV. Alright, so what's left to do on this quad is of course connecting it to the PC and uh, programming the clean flight uh, firmware but uh, I'm going to add that in a second uh, video, second part to this uh, uh, review for the Ishin Tiny UX90C version until next time, bye bye